hi again. Now that we're all set, let's start. The main parts of the solar charging station is the solar panel, which converts the solar power into electricity and brings out 18 volts. To take the 18 volts down to 5 volts, which is the USB, you need to use a step down converter. There are various options. This option, it has a maximum input of some 25 volts and brings down into 5, no matter which is the input. This one is an adjustable one, so you can have also use this one for various applications as well. And there is another option that comes also with a case, a plastic case that's dedicated to work with solar panels. So the first step is that you take the solar panel, flip it over, and this is the output of the solar panel. There's a little case, you just slide it out, gently like that, and you will see here there are different uh, screws. This one is which is holding the cables. So you can remove the screws like that, a little bit the other one, and this is where the cables will go through. Yeah, super. And then you have these two uh, different options. This one has also a sign of plus, and here is minus. So you know that here you have to connect the red cable, and here that the minus you need to connect the black cable. You take the red cable, you use your stripper here to strip the cable. You don't have to be very precise in the very end, allow some space. So here you have one. You do the same thing also for the black cable. So these two cables are gonna be connected here. So be careful, be aware not to, to make a mistake. Here needs to go uh, the red and here on the minus needs to go the black. So after that, you remove the screw gently. So, so you unscrew that, you unscrew this. And actually you can slide this thing under here. That's why you can lift it up a little bit. <coughs> Put it under. And then screw it. And it's done. And the other one. The parts we will need to make the solar charge station is a solar panel and a step-down controller. All of them will be connected through a switch and through cables. First step, we take the cables and we need to cut the negative one, the black one, so that we can connect it to a switch. Use your cutter so that you open almost at three quarters of the length or the length that you want. Then you need to strip out its side so that then you can solder it on the switch. Don't leave too much length of a cable on its side. Try to keep it short so that you can easier weld it to the switch. So one side of the cable will be soldered on one part of the switch and the other to another one. Take the grease and your soldering iron. Add some solder onto your iron and then pass it through over your cable.
as there is some solder on top of the cable then you just need to touch the cable onto the switch and apply heat with the soldering iron just a little bit, just enough to get connected. Then you need to take the other part of the cable, the other side of the cable, repeat the same process, cut it just a little bit short, the part that you have cleared out of its plastic cover, apply some grease on your soldering iron and some solder on top of it. And just make sure that when you do this process, when you connect the cables onto the switch, not to have any of the two cables connecting each other. They should have some distance, so try to solder from the out outer side of the switch. The next step to do is to connect the cables to the step down converter. So you just have to unscrew the two connectors. Make sure that you understand the polarity, plus and minus. So connect the black cable from the switch towards the step down converter to the minus and the uh, red one to the positive one. Make sure that goes all the way inside the connector in the hole. Keep it steady. Don't let any loose cable and screw it really well. The final step is to make sure that everything works and your, your connections are uh, proper. So you just turn on the switch, put it on one. And if you have uh, enough power, now we're indoors so it doesn't work, you will see here a light opening, uh, turning on or you can use your voltometer to measure the input coming here. Now that all the main components of the system are prepared, you can continue by making a case that will protect the electronic part, but also make it easier to transport and also more beautiful. At this point, feel free to come up with your own design by either using materials that you can find around, or if you have something already in your mind, just build it. For the purpose of this video, we're making a very simple standing structure using only wood. But feel free to come up with your own solutions and we'd be happy to receive pictures of your creations by the end of this academy.
Now that you build your own solar charging station, let's put it to test in real life conditions by taking it out for a walk.